Good evening, you two stalkers. Um, I just realized that I haven't done an update in a couple of weeks, so I wanted to kind of follow up with you guys um, on where I'm at and how I'm doing and um, kind of give you a sense of something that we had to do this weekend. So um, in my household right now, my husband and I are on the Optimal Weight 5 and one plan. My son is doing keto, and he had a friend over who was not on any diet plan. Um, and so we had kind of a multi-dietary needs family. So uh, we had an interesting weekend. But um, I'll get to that just for my quick update. I wanted to let you guys know that I am officially down to 190 pounds, um, which is the lowest I've been in about six years. Uh, maybe, yeah, about six years. So it is a big change for me. It's a really nice change. I'm happy about it. Um, and I am very comfortably fitting into a size 10. Um, at this point, I think my weight, is, weight loss is slowing down a little bit, but that's okay because I'm still losing a couple of pounds a week. Um, so I am happy with that. Um, most doctors and dietary um, advice that actually knows what they're doing will tell you that an average of one to two pounds a week is good. So um, for long-term weight loss and um, not having sagging skin and all that other fun stuff that happens when you lose too much weight too fast. So I am quite happy with my weight loss and I am now coaching. I have a couple of clients. Um, I have a couple more that are gonna be starting up in the next couple of weeks. So I'm kind of shifting my focus off of myself and onto other people in my community that I feel like can help um, with their weight loss goals and with their overall health goals as well. Um, I am enjoying being a health coach. Um, so it's not just about the sales aspect of it. Um, honestly, it's much more about uh, making a connection with people and helping them on their journey and, and helping them to reach their goals. So um, that's me. That's what I'm doing right now. Um, but this weekend was a little interesting. So um, with all of our different dietary requirements, I had to figure out how to meet my son's macros, his friend's general teenage hunger, and my husband and I's um, five-in-one plan. And let me tell you, it's no mean feat because uh, Optavia is not the same as keto, despite the fact that both of them put you in a fat-burning state. Keto puts you in a much more severe state, but it requires a lot more restriction on your carbohydrates. So um, that being said, I noticed a couple of things that when I was going over my son's information, one of which was that uh, it was much harder to meet his macros than it was to come up with laning greens. So um, not undoable, but not easy either. So um, I ended up making dinner for us all on Friday night. Um, or Saturday night. Friday night we went to Red Lobster, which was great because everybody could get something that they liked. Um, you know, my husband and I both had fish and a side, either asparagus or broccoli. And our son did the surf and turf and his friend had kind of a feast of all sorts of different things shrimp done in a million different ways. So um, they did that on Friday. And then on Saturday, while my son was doing Parmesan crisps and an omelet for breakfast, and um, let's see, he did egg salad for lunch, and he did um, some cheese sticks, and he had, uh, yeah, so it was lots of stuff on Saturday. Um, to meet what he needed and then for dinner that night we ended up making bunless hamburgers and I actually ended up making revolution rolls um, on Sunday and I guess I could have made them on Saturday and had the revolution rolls for the bun bread. Um, if you're not familiar with rev revolution rolls and you're on a low carb diet of any kind um, I highly recommend checking out the recipe. It's really, really simple. It's just eggs with the whites divided from the yolks, um, separated out, and you put cream cheese in the um, yolks, and you put some stevia in, and you put uh, some cream of tartar in the whites, and you whip up the whites, you whip up the, the yolks, 
and then you fold the yolks into the whites, spread it out into some little circles on a um, baking sheet. Um, Parmesan paper is what they tell you to use. I have silk hats coming out my ears uh, from holiday baking because I do bake. Um, so I do, uh, I put them on a silk hat. They came out perfectly. They came out beautiful. Um, very nice, crispy brown. Uh, nice texture, not too fluffy, not too flat. They came out exactly perfect. I could not have asked for it, but go better. Um, so I could have done those and reduced the amount of lean that I was getting. But I could also have done what I did and we wrapped our hamburgers in lettuce. So I got some romaine. We used that for the bun. Um, for the boys, I grilled up some mushrooms and onions. Um, I stole a couple of the mushrooms for myself. My husband and I had a salad. Um, the boys had salad as well. Um, my husband and I used the sugar-free dressing and the boys used the full fat. Um, and we had, let's see, oh, my husband and I did guacamole for our fat and our healthy fat. And we did, um, the pico de gallo, basically chopped up, um, tomatoes and jalapenos, um, and a couple of, of onion pieces, but not very much, um, because they are high, higher carbohydrate. And then we made the guacamole. So we had... Uh, that instead of like a spread, instead of mustard or mayonnaise or ketchup or any of that. So all told, it came out to be a beautiful meal. We really enjoyed it. Um, it was a nice uh, family meal that we were able to enjoy together. So that was great. On Sunday, um, Sunday was a little crazy. I had church in the morning and then we had um, kind of a lunch for the boys. They did egg salad again, I think. And, um, my son had his snacks throughout the day. And then for dinner last night, we did upside down pizza casserole for the boys, which is kind of fun to make. Um, and it's easily modifiable too. So we use, um, ground beef for the boys. Since my son was on keto, we did 80, 20 beef for him. Um, and we did, did 96 four for us. Then um, everyone gets to put their favorite pizza toppings in the bottom. Um, and in the case of my husband and I, we actually ended up doing it on, as cauliflower pizza instead of doing it this way, but this is how I did it for the boys. And you could modify it for ours. Um, so pizza toppings on the bottom of the dish. Um, then you put ground beef and Rao's sensitive formula tomato sauce, which has extremely low carbohydrate, very low sugars, very low, um, calories as well. It's really nice. Um, and basically for the two boys, basically you end up using about fourth of a cup per serving. Um, and now our boys were a little hungry and they ended up eating two servings. So they each got about half a cup, um, but that's totally fine. No big deal. And then we put mozzarella on top of the meat and tomato sauce mixture. And then on the very, very top, we put one of those revolutionary rolls and um, we stuck them in the oven and let them cook until the cheese melted. Once the cheese melted and the uh, bread was nice and crispy, we pulled them out and the kids ate them with a fork. Um, and then my son, my husband and I did, um, cauliflower pizza bites. Again, we could have done the upside down pizza casserole. It's totally plan compliant. So that wasn't an issue, but we felt like pizza bites. We wanted something to pick up and eat. So, um, yep. We used the Optavia, um, Supreme cauliflower pizza bites, um, recipe that can be found on their Pinterest page. Um, the only difference that I do when I make those is that I do not just take the rice cauliflower and stick it in there. I actually puree the, um, the cauliflower before I mix in the eggs and the uh, cheese and the Italian seasoning. And the result is that you get a nice crust on that thing and it does crisp up pretty well. So uh, you bake the crust for 20 minutes, pull it out, you put the uh, sauce and cheese and your toppings put it back in for about 10 minutes and it's done.
it's a really easy meal and it makes a full muffin tin and you get six of them out of the 12. So you get quite a, quite a bit of food. So that's how we manage to have multiple uh, dietary requirements on the same weekend and still be able to eat as a family.